<laughs> I was really excited about this one too. It's a fun topic. Yeah, because it's about how KJ screwed up. How do you find information for a load that you're unsure of, but you want to get it right? Maybe it's a new cartridge, Kent Sakamoto with hydrogen powders. I have to tell you a story. So I'm reloading for the 7PRC. And I go to the load data in the Hodgden Powders annual manual, and I look at it and I go, well, they don't have my bullet in here, but this one's close. So I'm gonna take the maximum charge weight, and I went with that. And your face tells me <laughs> I did something wrong. <laughs> right. So um, the, the mindset of finding a bullet that's close, not a bad idea on that. Okay. So, you know, if you, you're you using a 165 grain projectile, mm -hmm. you can look at 168 grain data and you'd be okay. okay. Now the flip side, if you went lower to like a 155 grain projectile data using right. a 165, it's not gonna be good. Right. Um, so you're, you're kind of I'm good on the there. right track. Yeah, but the problem is you went, here's the maximum and I'm gonna load to that. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, we we never really want to do that, uh, okay. and it's a safety issue because right. you're unsure if that load uh, is safe for that firearm. Okay. So a lot of individuals believe all of the data that is in print is all um, reduced by like 10 or 20 percent. It's you know for lawyers to be safe and go, there's no way anybody could cause damage. This stuff is all down, you know, the data yeah. is downloaded right. by 10 or 20. It's not true. This is all shot data. Okay. But here's your, the question for you. Do you live in Harrington, Kansas or Miles City, Montana? No, because that's right. where we shoot this data. So okay. where it is varies. You know, if you're using uh, Barnes data, are you in Utah? If you're using Sierra data, are you in Missouri? If you're using Hornaday data, are you in Grand Island, Nebraska? Spear data in Lewiston, Idaho? I mean, right. where are you? So there are some environmental differences there. But the okay. biggest problem is going to the max at first because it could be unsafe from the, a pressure right. standpoint. Right, and that's where, and as you're explaining some of this stuff, it, it starts to make sense to me because I may, it shot well, luckily, luckily, and I, and I got away with something there, thank goodness. Um, but what you start looking at is, is I may have missed a better load development process. I may have missed my, the best load by going straight to the top and going, nah, this is what it's gonna do. So you need to start lower. Right, so it, you want to start lower from a safety standpoint of right. the pressure side. So when we're looking at, we had talked about, th you know, three things earlier, you know. Right. Um, so accuracy, mm -hmm. velocity, and bullet performance. And there's three things, you know, we, ideally we get all three, but right. sometimes with certain combinations, we only get one or two of those things. Right. So when you're going to the maximum, you're going after the velocity, um, and it may give you bullet performance, but it may not give you accuracy. Okay. Where if you started at the bottom and worked your way up with powder charges to increase velocity and increase pressure, you may find that the sweet spot for your firearm and the components you're being right. used might be a much lower velocity that gives you a ragged hole, which unfortunately is a lower velocity, um, means less range because right. it's not as fast, right? But okay. it's more accurate. And we need to put the bullet on target. Right. You know, whether it's punching paper or harvesting a game animal or hunting a dangerous mm -hmm. game animal, you know, you need accuracy. Well, dangerous game, you need reliability. You yes. got to be able to uh, put another round in if you need follow up right. shots. And if you apply accuracy techniques of changing overall length, mm -hmm. you may turn a repeater into a single shot. Okay. which in a dangerous game situation, I don't only want one shot, I want more than one. I want, I want all of them. Or you gotta have some friends backing you up. Yeah, so. <laughs> good friends are hard to find these <laughs> days. Well, if you're looking to get into reloading and you're not sure of your load, man, don't start at the top like I did. Pick something a little bit lower, a little bit more safe, and your shooting experience will be much better. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to GunTalk.com, GunTalkTV.com, 
or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.